はい。うーん。So、we're going to do a 251 in G,、uh, just a couple different ways, just to explain、um, some real not non jazz traditional ways of playing just 251s. Just because it's a good <clears throat> mechanism to practice、um, arpeggios. And scales and get your things together. In,、um, when I say non jazz, I'm using the vocabulary, but I'm not using right now, we're not using any、um, real enclosures, you know,、um, real you know, hard bop licks. Although a lot of this stuff is somewhat transferable. So that's just my little prerequis prerequisite as I go through this. Um, so just A minor, D7, or D9, or dominant 9, to A, G,、uh, major, or G major 7, I got a 13 here.、Um, whatever your, we're gonna kind of hit all the, the bases. So here, so I'm just playing on A minor 7. I mean, E minor 9 actually. And I'm just coming down. <laughs> Excuse me, part of the Mixolydian, because now I'm on the 5 chord. So. 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 I'm just really outlining this、um, G triad with、um, the 13 or the、uh, 6 here. I use chromatics just because I want it, the time, it helps the time for me.、Um, not necessarily because it has a flat 5 in it,、um, although I love flat 5s because it makes it sound bluesier. But. So, I'll do this in sequence. Da 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 da. So. So. One E and a two E. And a, so, you'll hear that. And so, I'm just really coming down G major.、Um, the G major. Playing over. So, I'm kind of playing over. A minor, G, D7, kind of a D7,、um, back to the、um, kind of an A minor 7, and then a G, D7, you know. So, and this is just by coming down. Just practice your scale. Both are G major. So I'm just playing thirds. Like it. And then. It's, it's just being really quick, just to kind of give an example. So, you know, come up with it.、Uh, have your own things that come in、uh, to work it up. And then the second one is the same thing,、uh, but then it's just、um, a different, using different positions of the same arpeggios. So I'm doing the same thing, but I'm starting on my second finger here instead of my index finger because. Direct, like on a guitar, starting with a finger kind of dic somewhat dictates your directional movement. So if I'm starting here, 
So like I'm kind of always I'm thinking this way and then this way. So if I start with my middle finger, I'm actually going to think more this way or then this then this way. If that makes any sense. Because then like, I kind of break that rule and I kind of go this way, then that way, then this way. So, yay. So I'll play it real quick. Um, um, get my brain into it. So. Sorry. So I played a little different there, sorry. Um, so I'm actually playing. So. so I'm kind of playing over the D7. So over here I'm playing a, an A minor seven, uh, eleven technically. I'm coming down to E minor, then a D seven, then we're ending on the, the third, which is now the seven of the of the five chord. And I'm just sequencing up this um, another 13th chord. See, I mean, you could make it this. It's kind of hokey to continually just sequence up a 7. Even this half step difference gives enough flavor difference. And then, uh, then I'm coming up this seven or this um, G, the same one that we use in the other one, but it, kind of this a C shape. So, and this is a good uh, time to talk about like sh shifting or um, segues uh, into position shifting. So, like if I'm coming up this, so like this. This is something I do a lot, kind of a, can be a crutch, in my case sometimes it is, but it's, um, so I'll do a, a finger shift, like a, something like that, or, and I mean, it's not repetitive, like, but it'll be like a, so like, um, it kind of gives me, it's kind of like a kickstart into a new, to help me move into, you know, so, so the easiest way to do it is just shift your finger, and then kind of come up this, this uh, um, A minor 9, or, And then you're coming up this um, 13. Or it's actually a third. It's actually 11. But. So anyway, so so however you look at it, because I can also just look at it as straight. As a straight that's a really cool way to do it too. When you're coming up, is just look at it as like a seventh chord. You know, 
So I'm gonna, when you play a, uh, an A minor over a G, um, G major, so you have a G major, you have A, C, added A, C, and E added, so you have a, a 9, an 11, and a 13 added. So, you know, full 13. So these are just some really cool ways. play over a 251 and well in this case D G but you can also do these things in any key so you know shredding and happy health um, again if you'd like to get lessons um, from me over the Central Lakes Learning Center uh, dial 218-297-4650 or come on in at uh, 1303 South 6th Street Brigham, Minnesota. Thanks.